Hello everyone, Christine McKee here from the Emerging Technology team. Let's take a closer look at how we can build an assignment from an existing assignment in another class team or even one of our archived class teams. To get started, I'm going to click on Assignments in the left navigation of my class team. And on the Assignments main page, I'm going to click Create and select From Existing. Now I can choose a class to reuse an assignment from. Notice that I have active classes and I can see my archived classes. So I'm going to find my Social Studies 8 archived class and simply click Next. Then I'm going to pull an old assignment that I wish to reuse and click Next. Now. I can go ahead and update this as a new assignment. So I want to make a few changes here. For instance, this is no longer going to be a project done in Sway. It's going to be in PowerPoint. So we'll just simply remove that. Now this is an old document, an old set of instructions. So let's update the instructions and the attachments as well. All right, now that I've added the up-to-date assignment, I'm going to leave it set to students can't edit because these are the instructions that I want my students to follow. But I am going to click plus new to add a PowerPoint presentation. We'll call it my world view done. And I'm going to change this from students can't edit to students edit their own copy. That way each of my students gets their own copy of the PowerPoint template to work off of. For points, I'm going to leave it set to 100. Notice that a rubric has been attached. I can view that rubric, and if this is the rubric I want to use, I can just leave it as is. I can always click the X to remove this rubric and either select an existing rubric or build a brand new rubric for this updated assignment. Again, I can choose if I want to assign it just to this class team or if I want to assign it to multiple class teams. If I assign it to multiple class teams, I have to leave it set to all students. But if I just assign it to this class team, then I can choose whether I want to assign it to individual students, make it a group project, so assign groups of students, or leave it set to all students. In this case, we're gonna leave it set to all students. The due date is going to be updated to Thursday, September 30th at 11.59. Remember, I can always click edit underneath due date and I can schedule this assignment to go live in the team at a later date or time. I'm not going to schedule this assignment. I'm going to have it go live right away. I can change the due date and I can add a close date for when I'll no longer accept the assignment. Let's say Friday, October 8th at 11.59 p.m. And done. I'm going to add the assignment to my students' calendars. Now notice that I can choose from students only, students and me, so it's also added to my calendar as well as my students. Same thing with students and team owners. So if there were co-teachers on this team, they would get the assignment added to their calendar as well. I'm going to select Students and Me, and I can choose where I want to post the assignment notification. In this case, we're going to edit and change the channel to Unit 1, The Renaissance, and done. Once I've looked over my assignment and I've made any changes or updates necessary, I can either save this as a draft and post it later, or if I'm ready, I simply click Assign to assign it immediately. And there, let's go to the Renaissance channel. There's the announcement or notification about the assignment. Students can simply click View Assignment here to get started, or they can go to Assignments and select the assignment to get started working.